This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. Hello and welcome to The Property Show. We bring you the latest developments in the real estate sector and also the best property picks in your budget, in your chosen markets. And to help us do this, we have Nemunissa Khan, Head Research and Consultancy South Lysis for us with us. Welcome to the show, Nemun. But before Nemun answers any of your questions, let's take a look at the headlines. Three years after the launch of affordable housing policy in Haryana, the segment gains momentum in the state, a ground report for you. Homes in crore plus budget in Gurgaon's golf course extension. Plotted developments from locally reputed developers in uh, Mohali under 45 lakhs. Properties in prime micro markets of Mumbai in a 2 crore budget. Housing projects in Pune that fit every budget starting at 50 lakhs and going up to a crore. Affordable homes in Bangalore. And finally, in our beautiful home segment this week, we take you inside fashion designer Mandira Works House. Four years after Haryana launched its affordable housing policy, the real estate landscape in the state has changed as this housing segment gained a lot of momentum. Gurgaon, once a destination for mostly high-end and mid-segment homes, has now a healthy supply of under-construction affordable homes too. Oinita Moja takes stock of the progress made so far in the affordable segment in Gurgaon. Gurgaon has always been known as the place for the rich and the loaded. With a price tag of anything upwards of 80 lakh rupees for just a two-bedroom flat of about 1,000 square feet, this property destination has always been out of reach for the mid-income group people. But now things are changing. Thanks to the affordable housing policy, one can now buy a flat of about 400 to 600 square feet for just 14 to 24 lakh rupees. The segment is expected to get a further boost as the Haryana government is looking at exempting stamp duties. We would like to uh, work on any such suggestion which uh, goes in the way of uh, reducing the cost of providing low-cost housing to the common man. So I'll definitely explore the possibility of uh, uh, any reduction in the stamp duty on affordable housing. On offer are about 50,000 affordable housing units from reputed names such as Tulip Infratech, Signature Global, Adani Realty, Pivotal, Supertech and Raheja developers. These projects are coming up in sectors 70 to 115 of Gurgaon. These are our 756 units. और इसके अंदर में होमवर्क को सबसे बड़ा एडवांटेज ये है कि ये 50 स्क्वायर मीटर से कम में इसमें कोई सर्विस टैक्स नहीं देना पड़ता दूसरा सबसे बड़ा एडवांटेज है कि जो कंस्ट्रक्शन क्वालिटी इज वेरी वेरी गुड क्योंकि ये पूरा पूरा माय वन शटरिंग के ऊपर में है 100% आरसीसी है तो आप ये देखिए कि फ्यूचर में आपको कोई सीपेज की या किसी भी तरह की प्लास्टर पील ऑफ हो जाता है इस तरह की कोई समस्या इसमें आने वाली नहीं है तो आपको इतने लो कॉस्ट के अंदर में और आपको हर फैसिलिटी मिल रही है। There are, however, few issues that needs government's attention so that the buyers get a much better deal. Parking का provision नहीं है, scooter parking दिया है इन्होंने। और जबकि आज जितने भी हमारे buyers हैं, सब लोगों की complaint आ रही है कि इसके अंदर covered parking होना चाहिए था या एक parking होना चाहिए था। तो अगर हम parking बनाते हैं, तो उसकी cost करीब साढ़े तीन लाख रुपए के आसपास आती है, जो developer को cost पड़ती है। 375 square feet और अगर खाली स्ट्रक्चर की बात करें तो उसका स्ट्रक्चर कॉस्ट 1000 रुपीस पर स्क्वायर फुट के हिसाब से 375000 रुपए कॉस्ट आती है तो मुझे लगता है कि इसमें मंडेटरी होना चाहिए कि एक-एक पार्किंग हो और चाहे बेशक कॉस्ट थोड़ी सी बढ़ जाए द गवर्नमेंट्स डिसीजन टू एनहांस इंटरेस्ट सब्सिडी फ्रॉम एलआईजी एंड ईडब्ल्यूएस कैटेगरीज टू मिड इनकम ग्रुप इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू गिव द नेसेसरी पुश फॉर अफोर्डेबल हाउसिंग एंड आल्सो हेल्प द गवर्नमेंट अचीव इट्स गोल ऑफ हाउसिंग फॉर ऑल बाय 2022 in New Delhi, Oinitam Oja, NDTV. 
it's time now to answer your questions and our first caller is on air with us we have uh, tarvinder singh right now with us go ahead tarvinder ask your question hi anjali um, i'm actually looking for a 3 bhk or a 4 bhk for my personal use okay my minimum requirement is around uh, at least 2000 square feet okay. and my budget is around uh, 1.5 crore um i have shortlisted few projects uh, one is bestic bestic park view spa in sector 67 uh, one is emerald hills in sector 65 and also i would like to know what is the uh, you know what is the uh, for sector 39 what is the growth chances in future okay in so tarvinder yeah. uh, you know when you sent us the mail you had mentioned m3m and paras and of course you had mentioned the sector 39 so you know it takes a lot of research and then only we uh, answer your questions over here so we are sorry but we'll have to stick with your first uh, the earlier preferences so um, uh nemun what do you say because uh, he's changed his preferences right now but uh, uh, i'm sure that you'll give some extra recommendations also suddenly anjali the areas that he is speaking about uh, they basically fall on the golf course extension road and sona road so if you look at the data points here the average price point around golf course road is around 11600 rupees square per square foot um, appreciation wise it uh, has not been very really exorbitant it has been uh, on the negative uh, side because of a lot of inventory overhang in this market uh, but i would say um, as it is also a golf course extension road that the name literally suggests a lot of demand and which is uh, not being sufficed by the golf course because of the high price point uh, is trickling to the golf course extension road so due to that sprawl happening in this location this location is definitely going to see an upside move once the market sentiments are improved and the overhang is also balanced with the kind of uh, sales velocity that the area should maintain uh, so i would say um, if if you are comparing that with sona road on the other hand i think sona road is around 7600 rupees per square foot and again on sona road you'll see uh, the appreciation has also been uh, slightly negative in the past years with a huge amount of inventory overhang the same goes for the sona road itself it has huge potential but in the current situation there is a oversupply situation so for both these locations i would say either you go for sona road or for golf course extension keep uh, yourself in the long term horizon of minimum 7 to 8 years if you are investing in this location uh, coming to the projects i would say the ones that you have picked sector 39 is i think uh, would would stand the first in terms of location but i think the project that you had mentioned uh, it is a co- cooperative group housing project so in that kind of in that project you probably not, may not get all the modern amenities and power backup or uh, you know and, and the specifications are not that high end so if you are uh, you know willing to overlook that part then i think sector 39 should be your you know a concept first consideration else if you want something with good amenities um, then you can look at sector 67 which is uh, the project that you said said uh, m3 and merlin we would rank it uh, as two as a location is itself very luxury although the project i think uh, had uh, some delay issues but right now the project is already you know ready to move in uh, and a lot of international brands are also associated with the project so i think we will rank it as number two and then finally we would rank paris irin and samba 3 fundamentally there is nothing wrong with the project but relatively the location is uh, slightly uh, uh, inferior when compared to um, m3m merlin because some uh, civic infrastructure issues are still there in this area so relatively we would rank it number 3 so um, i think um, this would be our choice of uh, ranking for the projects that you had suggested and you also have some recommendation there um, nemun uh further we i think we can also recommend him another project by uh, sky on uh, by the developer ereo it's in sector 60 itself and this is also a, a luxury project it is partially complete and some of the project will get completed by the end of 2017 as well okay so she's suggesting uh, ereo sky in there for you so in case uh, the two options that you had selected are not looking so good to you you can go for her recommendation as well let's go ahead and take our next question which has been sent to us as an email by sumit sharma he wants to buy a plot of land uh, maybe around 200 square yards 
uh, near Chandigarh. Now he's okay with either Mohali, Kharad or new Chandigarh area. So first and foremost, uh, Nemun, you have to select the area for him. Certainly, Anjali. Um, looking at all the choices that, that he has, I think Mohali would be the appropriate market for him. Um, although if you look at new Chandigarh market, the, the area was also known as Mulanpur. I think this area also has a lot of plot uh, projects, uh, but I would say it is priced uh, slightly higher than what it should be. Uh, in the sense, the average price out of this region is around 25,000 uh, to 28,000 per square yard, which is around 2,600 to 2,700 rupees per square foot. Uh, but I would say this is slightly speculative because of, you know, uh, good brand names like DLF and OM max you know uh, in in the vicinity the pricing out here is slightly uh, aggressive relatively when you look at mohali market the, uh, the there are strong fundamentals to the market and it is also priced slightly uh, lower so i think uh, that would be more appropriate uh, you can look at the karur uh, banur road the average price out here for the plots is around 2235 rupees per square foot and the annualized returns uh, in the in the plot market has been around 1.5% so uh, i would say that you should uh, definitely consider the mohali uh, karur banur uh, road area and uh, coming to the projects that we've selected for you, uh, considering all uh, the, you know, uh, the social infrastructure around it, I think RKM City uh, in sector 112 would be a good option. They have some plots which are ready to move in, which is around 16,000 to 20,000 per square yard. Whereas if you go for a plot for a, uh, with a possession timeline of around one year, the price is even lower, around 13,000 uh, rupees per square yard. And um, then further you can look at uh, Giliko Valley also, this falls in sector 115. And then there is also uh, Mohali Hills by uh, MR. This is falling in sector 99, 105, 108, the entire stretch. And in fact, this is a huge township. Uh, more than 1000 possessions of flats are, uh, of um, plots are already given here. And many people have also started constructing the flats. So all these three suggestions that we are giving are very livable in nature. So I think these, might you know be a good option for you Nemun has already given you the prices for RKM city plots uh, which was her first recommendation and the other option that she is suggesting we will quickly take a look at that as well after RKM city uh, the second option is Gilco Valley plots and the price that you will have to pay uh, for per square foot here uh, depending on the sector actually changes but uh, going by the standard rate it would be around 2111 to 2777 rupees per square foot now the third option that she is suggesting is Mohali Hills and uh, the price that you'll have to pay here is also ranging from 2000 to 2444 rupees per square foot so these are the three options that you have where you can invest your money now before we move on, we would just like to remind you that in case you are planning to buy any property, do email us your queries at property at ndtv.com but please don't forget to leave your full name and contact number so that our team can get in touch with you. Let's go ahead and take our next caller on air. We have Siddharth Mood with us. Uh, Siddharth, where do you want to buy a home? Yeah, actually I am looking a property in Pune. Okay. In our Dattamandi road, Vakad uh, area, okay? Okay. So, what I have selected in the property is a watch trophy next. It's by Kasturi Builders. So, I want to know the uh, favorable price for this and are there any other options uh, which is equivalent to this? Absolutely. So, Vakad is the area that uh, he, has uh, he has shortlisted for himself and he's already looked at a, a project also. Uh, now, Nemun, what do you think about Vakar as a place to live in and also as investment and also this project? Well, Vakar, I think, is a very decent area. Uh, it is uh, in PCMC location and uh, its proximity to Hinjavadi is one of its USPs. And a lot of people that actually work in Hinjavadi IT Park, they, they rent out or they are living in this uh, Vakar area. So, in terms of social infrastructure, this is well established. Its connectivity uh, from the highway is also uh, pretty decent. And uh, if you look at the average price out here, it's 5,600 rupees per square foot. It's a mid-segment market. Market. 
Uh, the annualized returns also of, of Vakad are also decent. It's around 4% in the last three years. And um, if you look at the project which uh, uh, Siddharth has selected, apostrophe next, I would say that it's the quality developer. He's completed a lot of projects in the past and the project has also admitted uh, good uh, you know, infrastructure and uh, in terms of uh, um, pricing, I think he's slightly high uh, because they are in the initial stages of construction. Uh, so I would say that if you, you, you need to negotiate a little bit on this project, fundamentally there's nothing wrong with the project, go ahead with it. But try and negotiate the price to around 6,000 to 6,200 rupees per square foot. I think uh, that kind of a discount should be available in the market. And uh, further, we would give some more options for you, uh, which are almost equivalent to this project. You can look at Westwood Estates. Uh, uh, th this is um, a price uh, around the same price. Uh, uh, same price point and around 6,000 rupees per square foot and this is towards a Chhatrapati Chowk the location advantages are the same and you can also look at Millennium Acropolis now this project will be priced slightly lower because it is further north of the highway towards um, Indra International School so location wise it is slightly uh, like you know inferior compared to what you had suggested but the price point is pretty reasonable so have a look at the project and see if it works for you so as you can see, Nemun is pretty price sensitive and that's why she's uh, given you some more options which might prove to be cheaper for you. Take a look at them. First is uh, Westwood Estates and the price that you'll have to pay over here is uh, 6,000 rupees per square foot. Now this is above the weighted average price but still lower than your own choice. The uh, other option that she's uh, recommending is uh, Millennium Acropolis. Uh, the price that you'll have to pay is 5,350 rupees per square foot. Now this is even lower than the weighted average price which Nemun explained why and in case you opt for a 3BHK flat, you'll get the unit size of 1,249 square feet. Now let's go ahead and take our next caller on air. We have Divyesh with us right now. Divyesh, go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, good evening ma'am. Uh, mm. The question is that I am looking for a 3 BHK and there is a property in Mumbai, Malad uh, known from a uh, name uh, Bomi Celestia. Okay. Now the thing is that project was a uh, few years back uh, in some legal dispute because of which the construction was uh, stopped for some reason. And off late from previous two years, the uh, construction is in full swing. Now, the thing is that there are uh, three towers that they have planned to build in and it is a luxury project. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not sure whether I should be actually, you know, going ahead with the uh, under construction, uh, under construction, uh, constructed property okay. uh, and, uh, you know, go ahead with that particular uh, purchase. Okay, okay. So, we can understand your confusion now, uh, Nemun. Before he puts in his money, he needs clarity over it because uh, obviously he doesn't want to put his money in something that gets stuck further. So what do you say uh, about this particular project and also about that area as such? Well, area-wise, it is uh, it's 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 pretty decent. Uh, Malad West, um, you know, has is in close proximity to the Infinity Mall, the the In Orbit Mall, the Koringao Sports Club, or or you know, it, it's it's a completely uh, established location. It's a developed location, and the average price out here is also around thirteen thousand five hundred rupees per square foot. Uh, in fact, even Mind Space is very close to uh, uh, Malad, and because of which a lot of IT dominant population. Uh, is residing in this area which brought a lot of uh, retail also around this area so i think in terms of location selection he he's chosen a very decent location and um, if you look at the appreciation of this location it's been around six percent at this price point which is it, it, it's absolutely fantastic so i will definitely give you a go ahead uh, for this location and uh, coming to the project that you had said is uh, shortlisted by the name of bhumi celestia you're right it was stuck in uh, in some issues and uh, right now it is free of the uh, legal problems and the construction is also in full swing and the developer has promised the construction will get over by mid 2019 so i think uh, looking at the pace of construction they may meet the deadline that they have uh, promised so you can go ahead with this project uh, the other project that you have suggested which is um, the optimus the bharat optimus project it is also a quality uh, development uh, but I would say location wise uh, Bhumi Celestia is a better project and the price point is again lower than uh, Optima. So I think 
you should definitely prefer that project and uh, coming to your predicament whether you should invest in a project which is uh, you know in the initial stage of construction and if you have a doubt then I, we have suggested one more project for you by the name of Mayfire Legends now it is priced slightly higher than Bhumi uh, but this is on the external stages of construction and this will most likely get completed by this year itself so if you want something which is uh, uh, you know a nearing completion then I think this will be a better option for you yes so if you take a look at the price that uh, uh, that's there for Mayfair legends it's just 17,000 rupees per square foot which is uh, a little over Bhumi Celestia but still lower than Bharat Optimus so there you get something in between and uh, in case uh, you're buying a home there the unit size you get is 1400 square feet it's time for a short break now. When we come back, we get you homes in the range of 60 to 65 lakhs in Bangalore.